Hello and welcome back. In the previous video in the series, we showed you how to join map data to your spreadsheet data using QGIS and then how to upload that shapefile into Mango in order to make a quantity map. In this video, we're gonna show you how to clean up the map data. The map data that we uploaded to Mango was a little bit messy. It had lots of counties that we weren't interested in and the data also contained lots of columns from the original map data that aren't of interest to us. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can clean that data up before you go ahead and upload it to Mango. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove any unwanted columns from the data. We do this by right-clicking on sales data, pressing open attribute table, so we now have the attribute table open. Now before we can do any editing in QGIS, we need to press the edit button. So now the data set becomes editable. And then we need to click on this delete column button that's in the toolbar at the top. Now in here, we can select the columns that we would like to remove. Now, if we want the data to match our spreadsheet, all we had in our spreadsheet, if you remember, was name, ID, sales, population, and income. So these are the only columns that we really need um, in our map data also. So we're gonna remove uh, state FP, county FP, and all of the items that aren't necessary for our purposes. So if I press okay, we'll see that those columns have now been removed from the data set. And now if I press the edit button again to leave editing mode, it's gonna prompt me to save the changes that I've made. So I press save and now the data set has been permanently modified. So back in QGIS, we've now removed the columns that we don't need. The next step is to remove all of the counties that aren't in Texas. To do that, we once again open up the attribute table. And once the attributes table is open, as before, we need to put it into editing mode. Now, we've now removed the column that says the name um, of the state that the county is contained in. So how are we gonna remove uh, the features that we're not interested in, the features that, out, that are outside of Texas? Now, one attribute that they all have in common is we have sales data for those counties. And all of the counties that are outside of Texas contain null values. So if we scroll down the map, here are the null values. So what we wanna do is remove those null values. Now to remove those features, we need to press this button here, select features using an expression. So what we need to do, the expression will allow us to perform a query to select all of the features that we're interested in moving. And we have this helpful toolbar here that says all of the options that are available. So what we wanna do is we go to fields and values. Uh, we want to go to sales, and we wanna select all of the features where sales is null. Now, when you perform the query, you'll see this output preview down here. One means true, zero means false, and you'll see an error here if your query has been um, incorrectly typed. Now, all of the options that are available within this expression tool are too complex to cover within this video tutorial, but QGIS has comprehensive documentation. So if you want to see how you can perform specific queries to select features uh, for your specific data set, then please refer to the QGIS documentation. So now we're gonna press select and we're gonna press close. Now if we scroll down, we can see that all of the counties in Texas are not selected and all of the counties outside Texas are selected. And the selection has, is also reflected on the map. Okay, so once we've made that selection, we now want to press this button here, which is the delete selected features button. Once that's done, all of the counties that didn't meet our criteria have now been deleted. And as you can see on the map, we now only have the counties for Texas. To save that change, once again, uh, we uh, exit editing mode, we press save, and it's done. We now have a clean data set. We have a data set where the attribute table only contains the columns that we're interested in, and it only contains the counties that we're interested in. So now we have our nice, shiny, and clean data. Let's go back into Mango, 
and let's remove that data that we had before that contained all of the features we're not interested in, all of the columns we're not interested in, and upload that new clean data set. So we go to layers, we're gonna press the delete button on the sales data. And we're gonna press the add layer button again, and we're going to upload our new clean sales data. Once again, we want to do a quantity legend. As we can see in the drop down, we only have sales, population, and income now. We're going to choose sales. Let's change the background, the outline color to a dark gray like we did last time. Press save. And there we have it, the sales data only for the counties in Texas. Also, if we click on one of the individual features to see the attribute table, we can see that the attribute, ta the attribute table only contains the data that's, um, that we're interested in. It has the ID, the name, the number of sales, the population, and the income.